I feel sense. like if we don't like the life that we're living, and some of us, uh, we just don't like the life that we're living, mm -hmm. I think it's because we've let some thoughts in. Yeah. And they have not just become thoughts, they've become beliefs. Yeah. And it's yeah. now part of our core. Yeah. Yeah. And it's God has a way to dig yeah. it up. Like yeah. you need the word of God that helps right. you literally like a hammer to dig up those right. thoughts so and pave good. new ways of thinking. Yeah. I was 21 and so much had happened in my 21 years of age um, of living and probably enough life for like a 60 year old, honestly. It was just a lot, but it was an image of me. I was sitting down, there was a field and I was leading a little bit close to, I guess who would be my husband. And there were um, kids um, running in the field. I couldn't see their faces, but I can just see their back, their um, their heads. And I remember um, thinking, oh my goodness, this is such a great picture. Like, God, why, you, what is this? He's like, yeah. that's you, Zai. And I remember just crying because it was such a pretty picture. Mm. And it was me as mom, husband, mm. and my kids. And I'm like, wow, that looks like a dream. And where I'm at right now, I don't know if that'll ever be, but yeah. yes, God. Um, a couple of actually months later, I would meet my dream guy. Mm. <laughs> and sometime later, we'd get married and, you know, we get married. And um, I had this dream in my face and I'm like, Stephen, hope you're ready because <laughs> <laughs> they're on the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get this show moving. <laughs> and he was like, whoa, OK, there was a lot happening. Uh, we were leading a church, almost like a church plant type situation. There was a lot going on. And um, he was like, here's a puppy. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't was in the dream, dream. No. <laughs> but it worked. It worked. I was obsessed with the puppy for a little bit, probably about six months. I'm like, no, I think I want that picture. I want that image yeah. Yeah. that God gave me. He gave it to me. And so um, a little bit later, we would um, agree on a time. So um, we start um, practicing to have a kid. And I got to tell you, every time <laughs> practicing, it was I so like much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so we start practicing to have a kid. He wanted it. I wanted it. It was great. And I'm like, OK, we're, you were unified. We're going to get pregnant right away. Right, right. Month came in. I swear, every time a month came in and I wasn't pregnant, I'm like devastated. Right. And then insert a little bit of the fear. Mm. Whoa, mm. am I going to get pregnant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it possible? Yeah. Like is, but God, this is torture because you gave me that dream. And am I, uh, am I barren? Like what's going on? Mm -hmm. yeah. Another month, another month, finally did get pregnant. And that's when it was like an onslaught of just all these different mind games. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm pregnant. Yes, I'm pregnant. And the enemy is just like, yeah, but probably going to have a miscarriage mm. because the fee is mm. not even viable until like, you know, after the first trimester and like mm. all these different thoughts. When I turned on TV, there was something about someone that had a miscarriage mm. on yeah. some show, some random show, or that um, there was some type of crazy illness that the child had. I'll go on social media and there was something else, some type of crazy thing was online on, I'm, I'm Googling all the symptoms that I feel like I'm having. Yeah. And of course it's all bad when yeah. you Google stuff. And right. so just thoughts after thoughts after thoughts, it'd be, um, and when you go for your checkups and stuff and I'm like, yeah. wow, this is the day they're not going to have a heartbeat. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my wow. goodness. The yeah. thoughts. And then I'm like, I'm a pastor. Yeah. What is going on yeah. with me? Right. And I'm like, God, like, what am I, like, what is going on? I had no, my world was literally spinning. I was losing my mind. I felt even more shame. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm getting sad at all the thoughts that I'm thinking. What if I pass to add this to my baby? When I tell you, wow. it was one thing after another, after another, after another, my like, God, help me. Yeah. Like this is, there's something wrong. And again, there's a whole, I'm thinking these dark thoughts that I can't share with anybody else yeah, yeah. because if I share them, then they right. know it's real and then it will yeah. start looking at me funny. So maybe keep it in my head and I'll try to figure it out. But I wasn't figuring it out. Right. I said, God, please help me. Yeah. Give me a word. Not just everything works together for good. I know yeah. that, but give me right. an on-time word for right now. Yeah. What I'm feeling, please, please. Cause I feel like I'm about to lose this baby. I was reading my Bible and um, just regular Bible reading. And he brought me to um, Exodus um, 23, verse 25 and 26. And if I read it now, it's not because I'm sad, but it's just because of how good and how kind mm, yeah. he was. It says, worship the Lord your God and his mm. blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. 
and none will miscarry and be barren in your Mm. land. Mm -hmm. I will give you a full lifespan. Beautiful. Mm. Y'all, I read this and it jumped out at me and it slapped me in the face and it said, this is for you. Mm -hmm. And from then on, when thoughts, because thoughts Mm -hmm. still came, but this word, it just studied my mind. Mm -hmm. And it just, I was like, okay, no. Yeah. No, I'm not going to miscarry. So good. I'm not yeah. going to be barren, not just for me, but for my church. Like I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm worshiping the Lord. I'm being set apart. Like I'm, this was for me. And when I tell you, it anchored me so much. It mm-hmm. gave me so much mm-hmm. yeah. life when all my thoughts, I don't know if you've mm-hmm. ever been there before. Yeah when your world just starts spinning and there are all mm-hmm. these mind games, like what did you do to yeah. just steady you? Cause I, mm, I yeah. hope I'm not the only one that's had that experience no. <laughs> at all. No. But today just talking about mind games and just mm-hmm. the battles that the enemy does in your mind, what have you done? Mm. That verse, it saved yeah. my life. Yeah. It saved my baby's life. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Mm. But what have you done to steady yourself? Yeah. Honestly, I, I love the fact that the power of the word of God. Mm. And when yes. when the Holy Spirit just applies it mm-hmm. to your life. Mm-hmm. When I was really little, when I was just a really wee girl, um, I, I was, my dad was my hero. And I remember thinking and saying to my sister, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like my dad. Mm-hmm. And then the years go on, my father takes his life. I bury all the pain. I mm-hmm. throw myself into ministry, which honestly... I think when there's people have trauma in their life mm-hmm. and they don't know what to do with it, particularly when you're young, you know, you kind of push it into the cellar of your soul yeah. 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 and you find some way yeah. of going on. Sometimes mm-hmm. the different masks people wear, whether right. they turn to mm-hmm. money or relationships or yeah. to prescription medication or to alcohol, mm-hmm. any of those things. Yeah. I found the perfect place to hide Christian ministry. Yeah. I mean, who's yeah. going to come up to me and say, right. put that Bible down? Right. Are we going to have an intervention? No more second yeah. kings for yeah. you, lady. Right. Wow. <laughs> but God is the only one who knows whether oh, we're yes. serving of pain or yeah. passion. Yeah. yeah. And so I get to, um, I go through seminary. I, I, I co-host the 700 Club for five years with Pat mm-hmm. Robertson. Mm-hmm. But inside, I'm still that scared little broken girl mm-hmm. who won't let anybody get close to her in case you see what my dad saw. Mm-hmm. I discovered it's possible to be very well-known and desperately lonely. Mm-hmm. That's how I lived. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my life hit the wall one day and I end up, and by that evening, I'm in the locked ward of a psychiatric hospital and I'm the same age as my dad. The very thing I Sheila. dreaded wow. became the reality. But even though... Nobody was allowed to come and see me and, you know, they're not even allowed to know you're there. Yeah. The Lamb of God checked in mm. with me. Amen. Mm. Yeah. And, I'll, and at nighttime, that's when it was the hardest when yeah. thoughts get out. Because yeah. I remember laying in bed at night and the thoughts would come, well, this is what you wanted. Mm-hmm. Remember you said you wanted to grow up and be just like your dad? Well, here mm. you are. Wow. You're not going to make it out here. Wow. You're not. And so what I would do yeah. and literally... <laughs> It was honestly, it wasn't even with a ton of faith. It was with the little bit I had left. Mm -hmm. I would get out of bed and I would plant my feet Mm -hmm. down on the floor. And from Psalm 27, Mm -hmm. I would declare loudly, Mm -hmm. I believe I will live to see the goodness Mm -hmm. of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. And every now and again, a nurse would come and check on me because I'm talking to somebody in my room and there's nobody there. And in a psych hospital, that's a little (laughs) suspicious. But it was just literally the power of the word Mm. of God. Yeah. Um, Overcoming all the lies of the enemy and coating my mind. And, And the reason I said it out loud was, I think at times it's good for your ears to hear yes. what your eyes are reading. Yes. Yes. And it's just like yes. this, mm-hmm. because everything, all the lies, the thing that's yeah. subtle about the enemy is there's enough truth in yes. his lie to right. make it palpable. Come right. on now. If he just came and said, yes. you know, by tomorrow yes. your yes. name is yes. going to be Tommy and you're yes. going to be four foot two, I would think, well, probably not. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. But if there's enough truth in there, yeah. Um, but the truth of the word of God, that yeah. helm of salvation yes. yeah. that you clothe your mind in. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, every single yeah. night mm. in that hospital, every night. Mm. And I started it mm. gently. By the time I was ready to be released, it was, I believe. Wow. I will live yes. mm. to see the goodness of the Lord wow. in the yeah. land and of the living. Wow. That I think that, when you talk about those verses that God yeah. gave you, yeah. I think the, the Lord gives us yeah. Yeah. powerful scriptures Absolutely. because that's where the enemy loves to attack yeah. our yeah. mind. 
It is so critical to have scripture to take your thought captive. It is because the enemy, he is insistent, like he won't stop. Some of us think that it's just like this cute little devil with a pitchfork that just comes out on Halloween. No, 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 no. He is a real adversary and he will continue to bombard you with all these different things. And we are just not able to respond to it. Just anyway, get, get away from me, devil. That doesn't work. It's the Bible. It's his word that's actually your sword that helps us to just stand our ground and say, no, 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 no. But God, this is what you said. And this word is real. This is true. And it's important to actually have that word. So if you're going through something, I challenge you to get a scripture. Maybe you need to Google it. I don't know, but get a scripture that you're going to say over and over and over again. And you may start saying it with a little bit of faith, but I'm telling you, if you continue to say that consistently, you'll see that God's word is true. It doesn't return <laughs> void. It really does. And so every time you get um, bombarded with all these thoughts, again, just say that scripture, the scripture that he gave you, and you will watch the enemy actually flee from you. He may come at a, another opportune time, and then you can respond again with scripture and say it is written. But that word, it anchors you. We need it so desperately because our shoo, 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 that will leave me. It's not good enough. Where am I placing my oh, attention? And, yeah. and in that moment, right, right. I'm, I'm placing my attention on the dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to shift my attention yeah. to the light. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know how dark my thoughts were. Mm. I also didn't know how negative my thoughts are. Mm. You know, you take a yeah. test and it's like, I have the gift of positivity. That's one of my strengths. I'm like, yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, right. yeah. yes. <laughs> but then you start to track your mm. thoughts and it's just like, these are pretty negative. Mm -hmm. And how I found out was what um, I was just reading Philippians 4, like so what you should be thinking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I heard the Lord yeah. just, okay, write down things that are true. Yeah. Things oh, that are virtuous. So like good, write these things down. Yeah, so good. And it took me a while to write down so good. Yeah. something that was true mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. that was virtuous, something that was a good report. And I'm yeah. like, good. why? And the Lord was like, do you see like your thoughts? Mm, wow. I mean, my, my husband thinks I'm crazy because <laughs> I clean up our refrigerator often. Um, yeah. Um, our Funny refrigerator. Often. I, I'm not going to give you all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila. But our, <laughs> our refrigerator. Yes. And then, because um, I'm like, oh, how long has it been there? Two days, three days? Mm -hmm. Come on, trash it. Right. Or right. I, sometimes yes. it's always the salad dressings. Every yeah. now and then I may yeah. have forgotten. I'm like, yeah. What is this? Right, this right. expired like five, like trash it. Or I go, and oh my, <laughs> and I get into the pantry. We have like a large pantry. I get in there yeah. and I'm looking for something. I see something the other day. I'm like, I haven't seen this row because it's a little high. So I haven't gotten to it <laughs> right. a little bit. I'm like, I saw something 2019. Yes. <laughs> we <laughs> moved from one house to another. Right. That means and it came I brought with you. <laughs> something that was old oh, and so crazy good. into and our new, new space. Wow. And it's just like, but I see this. I'm like, this, this, <laughs> so if good. I consume this, this can hurt me yes. because this is an old thing. Yeah. And the Lord was like, okay, what about your so thoughts? Wow. I yeah. think that there are some thoughts that we have to almost think to mm. get us through some certain situations so, yeah, prior to Christ. But then he changes us, you yeah, know, yeah. there are other things that yeah. we should right. start thinking yeah. of. And it's like, if you're not aware of all of that, mm. you're going to start consuming. You're going to take right. in uh -huh. things that perhaps served you okay in but some they've season, expired. Right. They've expired. but they've expired. Oh. Yeah. And good. if you don't know it, then you're That's just going to take it in yeah. and it's going to produce a life mm. that you just don't like. That's right. Well, I like and that you had it just sitting on the shelf. Like how many of us just have expired thoughts sitting on yes. the shelf? Yeah. Yeah. We don't realize how toxic they are. Yeah. Or how many of us, I like to unsubscribe. Yeah, like on yes. these days. Is right? that just so? Is it, yes. it's the best. Does it make you happy? Yes. Yes. Because yes. I sign yes. up for the discount. For the discount. Right. Yes. yes. And then yes. I unsubscribe. Yes. Unsubscribe. Yes. I'm like, so wow, <laughs> clean inbox. Yes. <laughs> Empowering. Yes. It's, yes. But it's it is. freeing my inbox. Yeah. Up. Yes. Um, anyway. Which is oh. what we need to do. Which is what we need in. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We need to unsubscribe in the mind. Yeah. yeah.
But we don't know what's in our mind. That's a good point. I feel like if we don't like the life that we're living, Mm -hmm. and some of us, Uh, we just don't like the life that we're living, mm -hmm. I think it's because we've let some thoughts in. And they have not just become thoughts, they've become beliefs. And it's now part of our core. Mm -hmm. And it's God has a way to dig it up. Like you need the word of God that helps you literally like a hammer to dig up those thoughts and pave new ways of thinking. Because if not, you're going to start going to that place Mm -hmm. of shame, going to that place of just Mm -hmm. less than. Yeah. And living a life that's sub the cross yeah. and the resurrection. That's right. Because right. Yeah. Right. Uh, you can't stop a thought. You have to replace it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Like you yeah. can't just say, okay, I'm not going to think those thoughts anymore. Yeah. So what you have you to fill think? that space mm-hmm. right. with something else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. God always has next for us. He takes us from glory to glory. And there's some thoughts that we've had, and perhaps we needed to have this during crazy times, but God is taking us to a new level. And there's some thoughts that just don't, they're not going to serve us well on the other. So what it is, it's actually whatever season that you're about to go into, maybe it's a new job, maybe it's a new relationship, whatever it is, and saying, God, is there fear that's holding me back here? Is there some type of uncertainty that I have? Because oftentimes that thought it actually comes from an old way of thinking. And so when you find out what that mm is, what that angst is, name it. And then you'll realize that, wait, I can't take this into this new season. So God, give me new thoughts. What is it that you actually want me to believe? What is it that you're calling me up to? And honestly, he'll give it to you. He's not this God you ask a question and he's like, oh, I don't know. It doesn't work like that. He'll actually speak. He'll give us great and unsearchable things that we do not know, but their thoughts, again, that we have, and it's not going to serve us in the next that God has for us. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.